up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bullis Gotti. This video right here is gonna be an address to Gully TV. And I'm addressing you because you address me. Now, I wanna say this to you, right? And this is for anybody, right? You can't be nice to a lot of people. And you can't show niggas love. Because a lot of dudes don't respect love. They respect pressure. And they respect fear. And acts of violence. See, a dude like Gully TV and many others, they don't respect when a man is coming humbly and being a bigger person. You know what I'm saying? Because these dudes be really cornballs deep down the side. They really be cornballs. Now, a lot of these dudes don't like that the fact that real dudes rock with me. Why? Because they want these same real dudes to rock with them. And they not jacking them. Why? Because they look at them as suckers. Part-time suckers. These dudes is, is extortionist plates. Gully TV. Was getting extorted by Haitian Jack. He goes to Dominican Republic and gets extorted. Let's talk about it. He goes to Dominican Republic and gets extorted by Haitian Jack. Now, Bullis Gotti has never been extorted by no old school gangsters. Have never been pressed by no old school gangsters on the phone. Have never been scared of no old school gangsters. And I have never took down anything that I said about an old school gangster on my platform. You know why? Because fear and being under pressure will show that these dudes can keep you at the low totem pole. Let me tell you something why Gully TV don't like me, right? In 2018, I had did a video, right, about his Haitian Jack uh, documentary, right? I watched it. But you know one thing that I didn't like about Gully? And this is before I even became a YouTuber. His arrogance and his giddiness to go see a man that, <laughs> that basically is a known extortionist, right? He was so giddy to go see this dude. And then when he gets over there, he acts like a whole dick rod, like he did with Sean Branch. You know, dudes like Gully TV, these are dick riders. These are dudes that they get around real individuals because they dick ride. And Gully, he did what he knows best. It's the D-Rod. You know, just like what he did with the Sherman Worm thing, right? So I called him out on it. I did a video, not only just on him, but even on Kevin Childs. I said, you know, Kevin Childs, I felt that Kevin Childs took all this real stuff that he talks, but how can you throw stones at AZ and, you know, a dude, you know, like Tom Cross, you know, murdered your mother and you shaming AZ for doing what he did and you had the same tragic situation that happened to you you know, happened to AZ. So I was like, whoa. You know, but I called him out, right? I even called Cavario out on his bullshit, you know? And a lot of times when I do my videos, I call a lot of these dudes out because it's like I see through a nigga. I see through these dudes because these are old dudes that dudes be looking like, oh, I'm that dude and I talk that. And it's like, dude, I see through that, man. I've been around street legends. I've been around... The rappers. I've been around the real ones. So when these internet dudes come on their platforms and they and they and they and they, they they push these fake narratives, it's like yo dog. Like, let me tell you something what I don't like about Gully TV. He's a hater. You know what I'm saying? He hated on Hassan. You know, he hated on you know Doggy Diamonds. He hated on InfoMars. He hate on he hate on the art of dialogue. He's just a hater. He's a natural born hater. 
You know, Nash won't hate it. He hated on OBH and y'all ab, dark, low, you know, um, lied on them. Said they robbed Gilly when, no, not Gilly, um, Quilly. Said they robbed Quilly and they didn't rob Quilly. You know what I'm saying? But he sat on his platform and said the OBH dudes robbed Quilly and he lied on them. You know what I mean? Straight up hater. Straight up hater. Natural born hater. Right? He talks about, oh, this rapper got leaned on. That rapper got leaned on. Like, he did a video where he talked about Haitian Jack leaning on 50, which was cat. But he always make up these false narratives and these false stories because he's a natural born hater. He hate on Benzino. He just, hate, he just hates on dudes, just naturally. That's what he does. He hates. Right? But his hate for me is weird. His hate for me is so weird. Like, dude, I just said, yo, I thought you was corny for Jack and a Rat and Haitian Jack. And I thought you was corny for cosigning and Haitian Jack. And not only cosigning him, but you also was getting extorted by him. You was so giddy to go to the Dominican Republic so... They could shit on Pac, or he could shit on Pac, and just like you did with the Dexter Isaac shit, you had Dexter Isaac lied. He wasn't even the one that shot Tupac. Shout out the Info Moms for exposing this nigga with that video because he wasn't the one that shot Tupac. The nigga that shot Tupac is the dude that you love to mention. That's Haitian Jack Means. That's Little Sean's co-defendant that shot Tupac in Quad Studio. Everybody know that. From Brooklyn, they know that nigga. He locked up right now with Tank. In a phase. So, they both are Otisville together. So, these two dudes, you know, you know, basically, him and Jack did what they did to push the narrative so Dexter Isaac could push his narrative. So he could put more his book, but he also was putting money on Dexter Isaac books, just like he did with Sherman the Worm. Sherman the Worm went up there and lied on Prodigy, tried to shit on Prodigy Legacy. You know what I'm saying? And you interview a nigga, you said, oh, I'm Prodigy, my favorite rapper, I love Prodigy. But you interviewing a nigga that basically told niggas the, 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 the face and the fame Prodigy mural, nigga. Use a cornball for that. You know what I'm saying? But... A nigga like you don't have no no type of no etiquette about yourself, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause you you don't you don't respect nobody. You have a god complex and you think you that nigga, and you really not. You a bum. You was you a thrift stop. Sh you a thrift store shopper. You know what I'm saying? Your son is locked up. You ain't even help your son get a good lawyer. You ain't help your son get bailed out. Get a good lawyer. You ain't help your son do nothing. Your son is is locked up in jail. Your son was in a house with. Your, you said now you said your sister's a uh, 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 brother, but you said on your Instagram that your son was in the other room, your 12 year old son. So if your son would have got hurt, what you was going to say, the same thing that you said on your platform? I was a bigger man than even say condolences. I could have said, you know what, fuck that nigga. And F dude and F, and F that. I could have I violated, but I didn't. I came on some respectful, I came on some respectful grown man Tommy, but you always been a bozo, you always been a bird, golly, you always been a bird, you just a, 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 a slick talking dude that's a coward, like, you think, I don't know, you, you, you petrified coming to New York, you scared when you come to New York, you scared when you go to Philly, them boys in Philly had you under pressure, you didn't even go want to go in that city. I already know you didn't want to go to Philly. You stayed in Erie, PA, or you had somebody drive you in Philly, but you didn't want to go to Philly because you were scared of OBH. You was happy when them niggas went to jail. You was happy when they went to jail. You was so happy that AR Ab, Dark Low, and all them went to jail. You was happy. It, it was a breath of fresh air for you. You thought you was going to get the. Alpo interview, you didn't. You was mad and unique for getting that interview. You was jealous and unique for getting that Alpo interview. You was jealous because you wanted it. 
and you didn't get it. Let's keep it real. You jealous of me because I had Mano and Snow Billy in my room. When I had my first channel, my Snow Billy interview did more numbers than your Snow Billy interview. You know that, homie. You know what I'm saying? But you was mad because niggas saw the video of you arguing with dudes and you didn't think a nigga was going to get that video of you where it got you in compromise, compromise in position where you said, bye, bitch, bye. You know what I'm saying? And it exposed the zestiness and the the, the fun boy up that you are. Because you are a zesty fun boy. You was arguing with your lover in the other room. So you you mad with me because I exposed that, homie. Don't get mad because a nigga exposed what type of dude you is, homie. Because you was getting extorted by Sherm and you was getting extorted by Jack. You know what I'm saying? I don't have an issue with you. You have an issue with me. I came on Hassan platform. You jumped off the platform because you had an issue with me, which I don't understand. What is your issue? That was 2019, 2020, bro. I don't talk about you, but you talks about me. You diss me. When you left Hassan platform, the first thing you did was diss me. First thing you did. When my name is mentioned in your chat, all you do is, is diss me. I shared your video, that video with Herb McGruff and Stan Smith, Stan Spit, on my channel, right? My other channel, right? I shared your video. I said, yo, go salute, go support Gully. I shared it. It, it, it. Eventually, it got your channel, it helped your channel. You got the views off the video and all that. And you saluted me for doing that. I come and show love back and say, yo, salute Gully. You say, I don't fuck with you, nigga. I'm like, damn, dog. I, I shared your video. I, I could have let your struggling video, your struggling channel, and that video on your channel suffer, bro. I shared it out of love, bro. But I see you a hater. You're a hater. You're a hater of a nigga younger than you to have a platform that could move in shape better than you, that could network and could get certain individuals to talk on my platform. You think you the only nigga that could, that could shake, rattle, and roll shit. But I could shake, rattle, and roll shit just like you, Gully. And that's what you don't like, bro. You can't... We, we, you you went at Queen Flip. You call a nigga Benny Hill. You go at everybody. Yo, we the most... I'm the most poppinest YouTuber. And all y'all other dudes ain't on. Like, you have a God complex. You have a God complex. And you not that nigga, homie. You have not succeeded to the next level. You have not succeeded to the next level on YouTube. You still at 156,000 subscribers. You ain't at 200,000. You ain't at 300,000. You ain't at 400, 500, 600,000. You just at 156,000 subscribers. But you act like you the big deal. Math Hoffa took your lane, homie. Doggy Damas. Like, shout out to Doggy Damas. I respect Doggy. Because Doggy, at least Doggy is not a hater. Doggy, like, like dude try to say, oh, Doggy Damas don't fuck with Gotti. So I hollered at Doggy. He even told me. That was not even true. You know what I'm saying? And like, you... On the other hand, you been a hater. Like, when I did my interview with the Beat 139, who's in the comment section on the Beat 139? Gully TV. Yo, I'm disappointed in y'all. Y'all just let anybody, y'all just interview anybody. That's some hating shit right there. I had Maine on Snow Billy in my room. Yo, why niggas got, why they in this dumb nigga room? And, like, all hate. All negative hate. All negative hate. I've never hated on you, bro. You did your murder unit thing. I watched it. I watched your channel. I watched your videos. See, I'm not a hater. You know what I'm saying? But you, my guy, you a hater. You watch me. You mostly you watch everything I do. And you have hate because you see a nigga catching up. So a nigga... So what, niggas fear... What they don't understand, hate what they can't conquer. Guess that's just the theory of man. That's why I love Nas so much. 
Because niggas hate what they can't conquer. They hate. You know what I'm saying? Tupac said it best, my nigga. Can you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> Picks should be rolling. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes don't like to see other niggas win on YouTube. They don't like to see niggas win. And a lot of these dudes is older men. It's not just only Gully. is Skeen. It's Ten Toes Down. It's China Brim. It's, 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 you know, the CKs. It's the Mac, the Mac memes. It's the, um, Harlem Legends, the Four No Fames, you know, the call outs. You know, a lot of these niggas hate a nigga like me because a nigga got that Je ne sais quoi and got that talk game and that gift of gab, and I'm able to get myself in certain circles, and niggas don't like that. So you have niggas like a zip with the drip that'll throw shots at a nigga. When a nigga never threw shots at him. Niggas saying all type of shit about me. But shit don't even be true. But because niggas got hate and hostility. I don't even have hate. You know why? A lot of what y'all niggas say about me don't bother me. Because though. Y'all niggas. It, it, it come out of hate. It don't even come out of like the truth. It just come out of real live jealousy. Because any nigga. Like you niggas that been in and out of jail that just can't pop in the industry. And that you niggas is, don't understand how a nigga like me, right, that came off the streets, right? Instead of me out here hurting a nigga, I went and did something that basically helped me and really showed that a nigga could create. And do a lot of great things out here. See, if I had the hate that Gully TV had for me and tell me to SMD and I don't need, like, that's the devil, bro. Like, you, God bless you, homie. Like, you, you showing that you the shaitan, homie. If you a real Muslim, real Muslims don't carry themselves how you carry yourself. A real Muslim will never tell another man to SMD when a man is basically showing you. Peace. In the Quran, it talks about peace. I never was your enemy. You made me your enemy because I said you getting extorted. That I expose you for your zestiness and you being a fun boy. It is what it is, bro. That's the videos you, you that's the way you carry yourself, bro. So because you mad about that, you've been on a whole tirade of hate. Bigging up niggas that don't like me. Oh, so bossly. Call outs TV, big up niggas that don't like me, zip with the drip. But it's cool. I don't care that you big up these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Because like I always said, man, it's lonely at the top. I'ma see a lot of y'all dudes at the top. A lot of these dudes that y'all y'all be bigging up, y'all be shouting out. I blow past them. Because one thing about me is I have a natural order of things. And I'm great at what I do. I know how to put out content. I don't have to beef with niggas. But I'm not going to allow you to say SMD to me when I was basically being a, a, a bigger person. You know what I'm saying? But my big bro already told me, like, yo, yo, Gotti, man, you shouldn't even give that nigga no condolences because the nigga don't like you. And he was right. The nigga don't like me. The nigga don't like me. I get it. The nigga don't like me. Nigga got hate for a nigga that he don't even fucking know. That's the crazy thing. Like, son, like, I don't, like, dude, you don't like me because of what I said? And the videos, like, from, from 2019, 2020? Dude, it's 2023. I'm not even, I'm not even studying that. Like, like, even when I was on Clubhouse, like, dude was just throwing shots at me. I'm like, damn, dog. Like, he's mad that I had main old... And Snow Billy in my room, like, he just was listening and hearing about what I was doing and was hating. But you supposed to be the dribble. You hating on me. This nigga that talks about he's a fly nigga. What, what's fly about you? 
I can show you my closet and show you I got a lot of fly shit. But I'm not here to do that. You still rock thrift store shit. You rock thrift store clothing. You pulling out sneakers that drug dealers wasn't even rocking. Talking about these drug dealer sneakers. I know more about the drug dealer sneakers than you do. But I already know you a low level nigga. So a low level drug dealer nigga gonna rock with the low level drug dealer niggas rock. Told my oh, I know the style. Nigga, you don't know no style, nothing. You a nigga that wear thrift store clothing. Okay? Rock jean shorts. You have no type of swag. You buy a chain. An iced out chain. But you couldn't get money for your son. Your oldest son. A lawyer for your oldest son. You couldn't see about your oldest son. But your oldest son is in there struggling with no lawyer. You couldn't help your 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 twelve year old. You you talk about your child like the dude like he ain't nothing. But you was on your Instagram talking about yo they killed my little bro. But you try to say oh that's my girl. But dog you said that was your little bro. You said your twelve year old son was in the other room. But you. And sitting there trying to say anything. See, a dude like you, you just gotta break his character down. You, 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 you an angry individual because you not, you don't feel comfortable in your own skin. You feel like you got something to prove, nigga. You never made it as a journalist in these publications. You want to be a Bones Malone. You want to be a Elliot Wilson. You want to be. Um, a Barry Michael Cooper. You want to be dudes like that. But you see, you not that. You a hater. You throw shells at dudes. You sleep this dudes. You talk <laughs> greasy about dudes. You, 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 you get on your platform, your, your bully pulpit on Instagram and on your, your, your channel and you talk slick and you... You're dissing this one. You're dissing that one. You telling half of the truth of a story. You 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 be running around not telling the whole truth of a story, but this is what you do, okay? Um, you ran around with Haitian Jack. You had Jimmy. You used Jimmy Hinchman for content. You on the phone with the nigga Jimmy Hinchman. You recording the nigga while he talking to you on a federal call. You know what I'm saying? You. Was D riding Sean Branch to the point you was so, uh, how you say, just so blown away to being a, a, a Rolls Royce that you was so gassed off of being around Sean Branch. You talk about why I was in Harlem. I did, nigga, you went and did your beat 139 interview. With the cameras off. You didn't want no live streams. That was a pre-recorded interview. I did my interview with the B139. I said, fuck it. Let's do it live. And we did it live. You did your interview with the B139. You didn't want no cameras on. You didn't want it to be live. You wanted it to be pre-recorded. Because you was a scary nigga. So you talk a lot of that hot shit, but you ain't really about that. You say you rock with Prodigy, but you go to the man funeral, right? You go to the man funeral, you hang around, tie nitty, shout out to Godfather, shout out to all of the infamous mob homies. You know, you go around good brothers, and you, you salute them, you singing along with them and all that, right? But here's the thing, here's the crux. You get on the phone with Sherman Worm, you shooting down niggas' credibility. You on the phone with Sherm, having to do this Godfather when you was basically in a video with Godfather. Talking about how much you love Prodigy and all that. But you had a dude shitting on this man's legacy and the fame that was a part of the fame of his mirror. You a piece of shit. You do anything for a click and a view because you a hater. I don't respect a gully TV. You know what I'm saying? Because, though, you was a hater. 
You a, you you got a god complex because you want to be that nigga. You not that nigga. That dribble shit, you don't have no dribble. Because you not that nigga. That Genesee quad that you try to reach out to get, you not it. If you was it, you would have been in math half a position. You would have been in math half a position. If you was it, you would have been in I, all the dialogue position. You man, you hating on Gene Deal because he on the all the dialogue. You hating on Gene Deal and you trying to stop an interview with Mark Curry and all the dialogue because you jealous. You jealous of the all the dialogue because your Dexter Isaac shit got exposed for being fugazi and. Everything that you did from that point on, been fugazi. You always been a fool. You a fugazi ass dude. You know what I'm saying? But you jealous of me because dudes sit at the table with me, real dudes. Is what it is. You watch me. I watch you some. I watch you once in a blue moon. If dudes say you speaking about me or you have a topic and you might cross my recommendations and your videos might come up, I don't watch you. I don't have no hate for you. I don't even talk about you. But you got a lot of hate and malice for me. You upset that a nigga keep going, that a nigga still going. You know what I'm saying? What my nigga Jada said? The frustration and the hunger keeps a nigga going. Rapping for a reason. They hate a nigga that got that hunger and, 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 and I keep going. They don't like that. These niggas is 40, 40 and 50 plus trying to have YouTube careers and it's not going for them. Just keep it real. You out of touch.